Here's a cool tip that I just um, discovered with my iPhone. Uh, normally when I wanted to bring in files into iMovie, I had to bring in my movie files straight through iPhoto and then bring them in through um, here into iMovie. So it was a two-step process. Now, um, and I believe it's with the latest update now, I can actually import files straight from my iPhone. So I plugged in my iPhone using um, my iPhone cable. And so I'm going to come over here to the camera. And so now these are actually, it's pulling all these videos are straight from my iPhone. I have no other camera plugged in. So now I can come in, go over to my latest video, and I'm actually going to uncheck all because I don't want to import all the videos. I actually just want to import this last interview that I did. I select it and select import checked. I can actually tell it if there's a different project I want to assign it to or I can create a new event. I'll name this, um, this is actually a sync test, so I'll name it. And if you have an external hard drive, this is where you would select it if you wanted to send a file somewhere other than your computer that you're using. So if you're using an external hard drive, this is where you would find it and select it if you want to save that video clip to an external drive. And so all I have to do now, oh, you can also choose, choose stabilization if you want to stabilize it. And then also if you want to optimize the video, that's an option as well. If you want to, you know, upscale or downscale, so full or original. I'll just keep it as is. Hit import. And I can see that it starts to import. I give it a little progress bar here. So this is really cool because you don't no longer have to go through iPhoto and then bring it into iMovie to edit. You can now just go directly into iMovie from your iPhone. And so it just makes it a whole lot easier. And so here it finishes importing. It's creating a thumbnail for me. And I should now be able to see it directly in my iMovie project that I just created. I can also see that it's coming in from my iPhone here at the bottom. So I, if you have multiple devices plugged in, you can choose them here. This is the only device I have plugged in, so um, you can see that it says iPhone. So I could do built-in eyesight if I wanted as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done here. And so here's my clip which is really great because now I no longer have to go through iPhoto. So hopefully this um, tip is very helpful for you.